Well, let's get Clemson involved here. Alabama 2017 National Championship game. It's throwback Thursday. This is airing tonight on ESPN. Let's show you the highlights from this and what a game this was. Clemson down three, six minutes to go. Deshaun Watson for Mike Williams. NFL player to NFL player. Nice catch there by Mike at the 30. And then there's an unsportsmanlike conduct call on Alabama's Deron Payne. So Clemson would move it to the 16 and then down in close. And Wayne Gallman, another NFL. There's all NFL players almost <laughs> on these rosters. Clemson up 28-24. It was one of those games, whoever has the ball last wins. Jalen Hurts going to take it himself right up the gut, shredding the defense. And Alabama gets the lead back at 31-28. But there's time on the clock for number four. Clemson at the 30, 19 seconds left. Watson for Jordan Leggett. Great catch there at the 10. Reaching behind him and pulling it in. So they're in position now, the Tigers. Ensuing play. Watson for Williams, who gets knocked down. You see the flag come in. Anthony Averett gets called for pass interference. So Tigers. Time for a shot before they'd have to kick a game-tying field goal. And there it is. Watson to Hunter Renfro for the touchdown. And Clemson wins its first national championship in 35 years with one tick on the clock. An unbelievable game and an unbelievable amount of talent on those two rosters. You start with the offense. You start with Deshaun Watson. You got Josh Jacobs at running back. Look at the wide receivers. Ridley and Mike Williams and Hunter Renfro at tight end. O.J. Howard on and on down the line. And then you go over the D-line. Great talent. The secondary, Marlon Humphrey, Minka Fitzpatrick, Eddie Jackson, all three were pro bowlers last season. And one of the stars of that game, so it's now it's the current Raider, Hunter Renfro. Uh, so this is going to be a big night. We're going to review this whole thing, Hunter. I want you to take me into the huddle. Six seconds left. You got to worry about the clock. You got to try to score yeah. a touchdown before the field. Take, take us what was going on in the huddle before that play. Yeah, it was a wild. Uh, it was a wild game. So we're a no huddle team. So we kind of we kind of had a timeout. I think the play before when we threw the fade up there to Mike Williams, um, but. As we got the play call, we knew they were going to be in man coverage uh, 100% of the time inside the five-yard line. So that's something we knew going in, and that's just a play. Uh, uh, everyone kind of looked at each other, and everyone did a great job, and Deshaun hit me in stride, and it worked out. Do you remember what the play call is? It was a Paul Wright wheel rope crush was the name of the play call. I'll never forget <laughs> it. Yeah, absolutely I'm not. I'm sure you won't. Uh, and, you know, like, time-wise, you knew it had to be a quick play, right, just to get it off so you had a chance to, for the field goal? Yeah, so, like, the coach and me and everybody, we just kind of think of everything. We had six seconds left, and uh, we knew we had to get a rollout in case something went bad. He could throw it away, throw it to the back of the end zone, have a, have a chance for a field goal to tie it up. Um, I actually talked to Coach Sweeney last night, um, and he said if we didn't get it there, we were going to kick the field goal to, or didn't go to overtime. So um, I'm so excited we scored there. What do you remember? Okay, so you make the catch. It's one of the biggest catches in Clemson football history. What, what happened next there, Hunter? <laughs> um, so we go to the sideline. I'm looking, making sure there's no flags on the ground. Um, and we decided to go with the onside kick. And, and it was actually an unbelievable just the way things work out. Um, Coach Winnie told us in, in pregame, um, kind of our walk through the day before was uh, we were kind of overlooking the stadium where we were doing our walkthrough. And he said, all right, tomorrow night we're going to take a, a knee to end the game. And, uh, and we're going to go out the right way. And it just so happened. We got the onside kick, and we're able to take that knee. <laughs> that is a good what, – what happened to the football that you caught? Did you, are you in possession of I should have kept it. Uh, <laughs> I, I heard Deshaun might have it. He might have gotten with kind of the ball boy, but uh, I don't know. I should that – was, that was dumb on my part. Yeah. Uh, I should have kept it you for You may sure. want to bring that up with Deshaun at some point. <laughs> Where is that football that I caught? Um, so, at that Sorry. point in your career, you had two multi-touchdown games, and both came against Alabama, and both were in national championship games. Oh. How do you make sense of that, Hunter? Yeah, um, it was wild. Uh, it, it was nothing that I really did. I was just trying to do my part. Um, and we had so many guys during those games in 2015 and 2016 um, that made unbelievable plays. I mean, left tackle Mitch Ty Hyatt doesn't get enough credit. Tyrone Crowder, Taylor Hearn, all the guys. Um, I kind of got some of the glory for having the two touchdowns. But um, there were so many plays during those during that during those two games that. 
that could have won us the game. Um, it just came down to that one. So um, it was awesome, and I'm appreciative for those guys for sure. I know a lot of us felt like we'd see you in your senior year. Like, is Hunter Renfro still playing? Does he still have eligibility left? You were, you were on the national stage for so many yeah. years there. Uh, and, of course, now you've made the transition to the NFL with the Raiders. How would you compare the two coaches, Dabo Sweeney and John Gruden? I always tell everybody that they're similar. They care so much about their, their um, players. They care who they are. They care where they from, come from. Um, Coach Gruden... They both tell stories and make things fun, but Coach Gruden likes to cuss a lot more than Coach Sweeney. That's, uh, <laughs> that's kind of the thing that he likes to do. <laughs> who, who both you, great guys, though. I love them. Who would you least like to mess up in front of? Would it be Gruden or would it be Dabo? Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, equally, really. <laughs> um, just because, really, just because they care so much about the game, but also how you do as a person and how you play the game. Um, and so uh, messing up in front of both of them would be pretty tough. Uh, this is, in a lot of ways, this is an interesting year, but for the Raiders in particular, headed to Las Vegas after spending the last quarter century in Oakland. What is the process going to be like? Where are things as far as that goes, Hunter? Yeah, so we, uh, we left Oakland, um, and we were kind of doing our OTAs, which is our spring practice in Oakland, um, but those have kind of gotten canceled. So uh, we know just as much as everyone else, we're kind of taking it day by day and seeing how all this progresses. Um, but we're excited, uh, whether it's in front of fans, whether it's not in front of fans. Um, I think we open up against the Saints. Um, or we'll open up in Las Vegas against the Saints in Monday Night Football. And so um, that's going to be a blast, and we can't wait to have a good time with the city. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.